Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how to make these earrings. And as per usual, I've linked all the items used in the description box. So I'm going to start with a ruler and the wires are 18 gauge and um, they are 6 inches each. And I'm also going to use this bail making pliers. To begin, I measure 2 inches on the wire, then I place my pliers there and I place it at the second step. Then I wrap it around like this and I ensure that the shorter end of the wire goes behind the longer end. So for the next wire, you want to place it at 2 inches as well, then place the wire at the second um, step. But this time you want to place the shorter end of the wire in front of the longer end like this. Then once you've done that, you want to grab the ends of the wire and um, pull on them to make the loop smaller. And you can measure them against each other as you go along to ensure that they are roughly the same size. Next, I'm going to assume that this piece is for my left ear and you want to ensure that the shorter end is laying on top of the longer end and pointing towards your left and this, this piece is laying on top of the longer end and pointing towards your right. Next, I'm going to make the other loops and this is a piece with the shorter end pointing towards your right. I place it at the first step then wrap the wire around the barrel of the pliers and also adjust the pliers as I go along. Then I go back in and remove this piece out of the way so that I can go ahead and make the other loop. And so you basically wrap it around like before and take it over to the other side like this. So at this point I want to ensure that the longer end of the wire is laying beside the wire in the middle so I'm trying to adjust it and I take the longer end of the wire over to the other side and um, I go in with the chain nose pliers to flatten the loops and also to lay the longer end of the wire beside the wire in the middle. Then I do the other piece just the same and I start with the shorter end as well. And right here I'm going to remove the excess wire from the shorter end. Once you've done that, you'll notice that you've got the longer piece left and um, this is what we're going to use to wrap the bead. And so you just want to go back in and use your chain nose to close the loop. Next, I'm going to place the wire that is sticking out in the middle. And as you can see, you want to turn it this way where you can see the wires laying beside each other. Then grab it and um, use your chain nose to place it in the middle. And it is not exactly sitting in the middle, so I go back in to fix it. And then you just want to go ahead and um, do the other just the same. For the next step, I'm going to hammer the outside of the loops and this is going to work hard in them as well as give it a nice flat look. Once you are done hammering the piece, you'll notice that the loops are sticking up. So I go back in with a rawhide hammer 
and I use it to flatten the piece. I'm going to choose this one for the left and this one for the right. And as you can see, both wires are laying beside each other. The bead that I'm going to use is 12 mil and you can check the description box to see the other items as well. I'm going to display this side on the right so I turn it towards the left to do the wrapping at the top of the bead. Then I bend it at a 90 degree angle and then I go in with the raw nose and I take the end of the wire over the barrel of the pliers then I take it towards the back and um, I make a loop and this is what it looks like then I go back in with the chain nose and I use this bent chain nose to wrap the end of the wire around the bottom I do about three to four wraps and then I bend it towards slightly towards the front and then you'll see a small gap then I take the end of the wire over it and I use the cutter to remove the rest of the wire then I go in with the chain nose to squeeze it down in place So when I go to do the other, I turn this part towards my left and I basically make the um, 90 degree angle like before and I wrap it just the same as the other. I'm going to use these ear wires and I've also linked the tutorial for them in the description box so I connect the left side like this and you can use standard ear wires as well and for the right side I connect it like this I do hope that this video was helpful thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Also, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section.